out of the 18 parties, 10 unequivocally were for the new register. Two said they will follow the EC, and if the EC is going to have a new register, that means the two said they will follow the EC are also for a new register. Only six parties said no, and those are the parties who have been with the NDC all along in the streets. So, I, I honestly, I don't see where... I don't know whether the part meeting was called to convince the NDC to change its position. But indeed, the NDC also should realize that given the numbers, they have been playing the numbers game. Given the numbers, they probably should revise their notes. Because they cannot insist that they are a minority group who wants everything for everybody else. And that only their position ought to be final. That's indisciplined. That is not democratic. Finally, I, I just want to add that would that mean that the recommendations by the eminent committee, which will come later, will mean little or nothing at all for the processes that we are having now, or even the stance that the EC has taken? I'm not in a position to determine what the EC will do. As we stand here now, the EC's presentation was clearly for a new register. I don't know whether the EC is going to meet the eminent persons and make a change to its plans or other. That one I can't speak for the EC. But I know for a fact that today the presentation that I saw from the EC demonstrates a commitment to a new register. Because they have made a strong, clear case that they cannot run the existing register into the election. They have made a case for that. So I don't see them changing their minds at this critical stage. Are we all coming to come to the table with the same mind? Yes, yes, we need. You think that we will reach there? Uh, if it is about a register, we have made up our mind. And the EC appears, fortunately, uh, on the side that we have made up our mind, the EC appears to have a majority of parties having made up their mind that way. Because like I've already said, 12 parties appear to back the ECs. Uh, and six with the NDC, including the NDC, say no. So uh, 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 the eminent persons, depending on how they want to approach this process and this matter, will be determining whether or not their version or uh, notion of consensus means that the NDC abandons its position. I can't tell. But as we stand now, a majority of the political parties on the role of the EC say they want any we understand that one of the takeaways from this meeting, this very meeting, is that the EC will get the compilation done by 8 November. Now, that will be about a month away from the elections. Is this feasible? The EC's timetable is based on law. Because the EC, every move the EC makes flows from its authority in the constitution. And then, consequential CIs regulations that is passed through Parliament to control the flow of what they do. So I believe that they will not go beyond what their CI, the regulations on how they prepare themselves for an election, provides. The, the timing is not whimsical, it is based on law. In 2012, we had a, a register given to us uh, which had a number of 13.6 million. By the time of the election, we had a register which was 14.1 million. And in the Supreme Court, we were told that the one we were given was a provisional register. <laughs> All sorts of explanations were being given. I am saying that once a political party is in election year, it prepares itself. It organizes itself. It knows what it has to do to meet its own targets within the frame of the general election that is looming, which is managed by the EC. The EC being the institution that it is, does not do anything out of its own whims. It cannot select a date for delivering something beyond the date that the law allows it. So you think they'll miss that? They will definitely meet their legal deadlines. They will definitely meet their legal deadlines. And I think one of the reasons why it's also very important that this matter of to have or not to have is concluded quickly is that it can impact the deadlines if we don't take a firm stance. And, and today, I think it is clear from the mood of the parties who are for years that the EC stance has substantial backing.